everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i'm key this is keys plan life so really really quick we are going to get into october's budget what it looks like and did i complete some of the things on my to-do list now y'all know last month i didn't complete anything on my to-do list but this time this time around i am happy to report that I finished two things on my to-do list. So I am really excited to share that with you guys. So getting into October's budget, not much has changed from September's budget. Um, this was September's budget right here. Um, I think last month we our total income was $4,140. Our total bill expenses were $4,135 and we only had $5 left over. Well, this month, our total income is $4,475. Our total bill expenses are $4,183. And what's left over is $242. Now, when I say our income, that is my paycheck and also hubby's portion of the bills plus um, my two older children pay rent. Yes, they are adults. They still live in my house. They're going to pay rent. <laughs> We're teaching responsibility around here. Nothing in life is free, including a place to lay your head. Um, So, let's get into what I want to do for October. So, for October's to do, uh, as always, I'm almost through plan paying for our vacation, but I do plan on putting something on a vacation. Paying on afterpay, which I had paid my afterpay off and then I used it again. <laughs> and I will say a no buy, but it's really not a no buy. It's really a low buy. But it is a no buy in a sense because I'm not buying any clothes, shoes, wigs, perfume. Um, I'm not buying anything that typically brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying anything that typically makes me happy this month. So we're going to stick to necessities only. Things that are really, really needed for this month. Which is not a problem. Because if you've seen video of my cloth fist, then you know that if I buy stuff, I'm just really just buying stuff. If I'm being honest with myself. So the goals is to save as always. Our goal will always be to save. And minimal eating out and low buys. Now, with the minimal eating out, um, this is my thoughts on that. I feel like as long as I use my spending money, I could eat as much as I want to. But even with that, I've decided to kind of tone it down and budget eating out, eating out. Especially considering the fact that I am on a health journey. I'm trying to get my diabetes numbers under control. Um, I uh, know I have an autoimmune disease called sarcoidosis. So I'm trying to stabilize that. But I'm also trying to uh, tone my body up. Lose a couple of pounds in the process. So there's not going to be a lot of eating out. And if it is eating out, it's more health based than anything. So, also, the savings and sinking funds, the car maintenance, I plan on putting uh, $300 up this month, uh, the emergency fund, $50, vacation, $50, personal savings, $40, our Roth, $60, and altogether, that's going to be $500. Now, let me say this, the reason the car maintenance um, fund is higher than everything else is because I have a goal number that I'm trying to reach to cap that off, and then once I do that, then that'll become lower, and the next thing that is a goal that I need to accomplish will uh, become higher until it reaches what it needs to reach and then we'll move on to each one as we go um the budget income for this month the total income is four thousand four hundred and seventy five dollars the total bills and expenses is four thousand one hundred and eighty three dollars what we have left over is two hundred and forty two dollars so let's talk about bills expenses and debts Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, the bills, expenses, and debts, the rent doesn't change. $1,001. Just energy is $350. Y'all, my light bill, I got to figure it out because nobody light bill. I have a four bedroom, two and a half bath house. My light bill should not be this high. I have to figure it out because the math is not math then. Um, and if y'all got some suggestions, drop them in the comment section. 
um, this is a two-story home as well. Also, um, my mobile. My mobile bill is, I don't know why that says 329 because it's 350 So, let me fix the, y'all will see 350 but I'm looking at 329 Let me fix that. Okay. And let's see. The Xfinity Internet is $86. Centerpoint is $57. Canva is $14. Car insurance is $460. Our car insurance actually went up because of my car. Um, my car note is $340, but I'm putting a little extra on it. So that's why we got the number $400. Capital One, $25. Capital One Silver, $25. Capital One Silver Two, $25. Capital One Savoy, $25. Mission Lane, $25. Venture, $25. Mission Lane, $25. I'm almost done paying on three of those credit cards and they will no longer be a factor in a few about two more months um let's see youtube 22 dollars vacation 124 after pay 204 myself i'm paying myself 200 dollars uh, for the month apple watches 11 dollars. that's my husband's watch and my daughter's watch they paid the insurance on their watches runner's insurance 43 dollars because we did decide to invest in runner's insurance for our home fire stick 14.98 i love my fire stick i have it in three of my rooms in my home and we got cable for $14.98 okay how about that versus the four six four hundred and something dollars I was paying for extended to give me cable okay uh, rooms to go $67 we did pay a bulk of well my husband paid a bulk of that down um, cash app $99 that is pretty much it for the month of October. I do plan on sticking to that. Um, like I said, I will not be making any personal purchases this month. Now, I do have some stuff in my Amazon cart. But I can't get it until November. But it's sitting there. Waiting on me. And it's going to sit there. Because I meant what I said. What I said. Like, there's a purse that I want real, real bad. <laughs> But I'm not going to buy this purse because I said I'm not doing no spending in October. And you got to have discipline to accomplish some of the things that you want, especially when it comes to your money goals. I am a shopaholic and I know that by myself. But I'm trying to learn discipline as well, especially since I am one of those girls that actually don't need anything. I just want it. So it can wait till November. It's not going to kill me and it's definitely not going to hurt me. So, I do have some things in my Amazon cart that I want to purchase that won't be purchased till November. Um, I do plan on getting like my personal items like the deodorant, soap, dishwashing liquid, washing powder, toilet paper, things like that. But for the most part, um, any frivolous spending that won't be going on. Because number one, what I'm learning about myself is this. I don't like spending my money like that. Especially when I got an allowance. Number two, um, what I'm noticing is I'm learning that my meals do not have to cost a hundred and some dollars or 80 bucks or 60 bucks when I go eat. Like I'm learning that it is okay to go to the little mom and pops places to eat or not have that drink. That you was wanting to have. Which I think is like crazy to go to a restaurant and not have a drink. But I don't have to have that drink. And I'm learning that it is okay to just go to a restaurant. Get you a tea or some water and eat your food. And you'll probably save a good 20, 25 bucks just on drinks alone. If they, if you get one drink. If you get two drinks, that's like $50. But still, that's neither here nor there. My husband likes to take shots. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I noticed when I took myself to breakfast because I went to church and then I took myself to breakfast because my husband had to work. And, you know, I stand in for me and my family. So my husband had to go to work and I went to lunch and I went to this place called Brunch Junction and I only paid eleven dollars and ninety eight cents for my for my breakfast. I didn't have a mimosa. I didn't have nothing. I had, no, I think I had a orange juice. But other than that, a Oh, plus the orange juice, it was $14.98. But other than that, I got a breakfast for under $20. When, and, but also, when I looked at that, I looked at the fact that I could have easily came home and just made breakfast at the church. Like, so, um, I'm learning that after church, I don't have to go out to eat either. 
So, um, I am going to skip eating out this Sunday. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to probably come in here and fix me a bowl of cereal. And I'm going to get in my bed until it's time to cook dinner. <laughs> that is how this Sunday is going to go. Because I always cook. I, that's the day I cook on Sundays. I don't cook no other time. My husband has a little rest of the week. And we don't cook on weekends. And I don't think we cook on Mondays. But Sunday is my day. Um, but yeah, I'm learning that everything doesn't, I don't have to spend money all the time and it's okay. And it's also okay to say, Hey, I have a shopping problem. I'm a shopaholic, but it's also okay to say that I am in construction of managing that issue and that problem. And it's okay to tell yourself, no, that, that you don't need that right now, that that can wait. I have this rule that I've heard so many people say. Wait 30 days. If you still want it in 30 days, then get it. If it's still there in 30 days, that means it was meant for you to have. I'm just, it's if some things are just not important to me. And I'm the type of person, even when I'm walking into stores, I might pick a bunch of stuff up because I like it and it's cute. But then as I'm walking through the stores, I'm thinking about the price I'm going to pay for it. And I'm thinking about all the stuff I have at home. And then I'm thinking about, do I really need it? And then I come to the conclusion that I don't really need it. So I end up putting it back. And by the time I get up to the register, I may have one thing, if anything at all. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting under control. Um, I am more focused on wanting to take a trip or two every year and also uh, paying off my car early. So those have been priorities versus going shopping all the time. So, yeah, that is what I'm doing. Um, I am going to be doing a money um, financial tag. I have that coming up, so I will be bringing that to you guys. But I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun planning it all out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.